Welcome back to One Hour Limit Locked, where I race to complete some of RuneScape's most iconic challenges, whilst limited to just one hour of gameplay each day. In Season 1, we got ourselves a fire cape in 46 days, and in Season 2, we achieved Barrow's Gloves in just another 38. But now, in Season 3, it's time for our toughest challenge yet. The question is, how many days will it take us to complete our first ever raid on the account? We not only have to get ourselves geared and leveled up just to step inside a raid, we then have to complete it in under one hour, as logging out in the middle will end our run. I've no idea how long this is going to take me, but I can't wait to find out, so join me for the journey here in Season 3 of One Hour Limit Locked, as we become a Tomb Raider. Welcome back everyone, it's day number 12 here on season 3. Today we're going to be flip-flopping back on over from the quests to our Slayer. However, I'm going to make sure that I get this Garden of Tranquility progressed as we go around. How about we just check what's in here. Lots of money for us, very nice. Not that much money, not so nice. We're going to sell these U-logs, we're never going to get to them, I've realised. Like, we're never going to have... 60 crafting we don't have the time to do that and we don't need it for other purposes so i'm going to have to invest in more mahogany but we've got some for today and that's good enough for me yeah i basically just want to do this alongside my farm run and then after it we can plant all the stuff all the seeds that we got in uh, the varrock gardens and they'll be left to grow while we go do our slayer I've actually added another quest on my list that is going to get us some Slayer XP as well. We can get another 5k from Wanted. So I am planning to do that in the near future. I don't know if it'll be today or tomorrow, but we'll see how we get along with the trolls and how long it takes us. Okay, get together our farming gear. I think we have some Renars today. I can't remember if we have Renars planted or Toad Flax at the moment. I think it's Renars. I'm just not 100. I'll do these three first and then go as normal. Hey, I'm our gold screw. Thank you very much. Do the Hardy farm next. And the next one. Also, these are Renards that we have planted, so... Should be some nice profit coming in today from those. Rather than the toad flax we've been used to the past couple of days. Wonder what the price of Renards are. Still about 26k. They seem to have stabilised at that higher value rather than 22k. Which kind of fucking sucks. All the onions grew. Excellent. Oh my gosh, why do I keep doing that? I keep using the teleport option on my fucking ring when I'm trying to restore my energy. It's the second time two days in a row. Oh. We got 40 farm in there. Got a lot of renars from this patch, actually. Having to note them before finishing the patch, which is not usual. Six out of six patches today. Very nice indeed. We've got a lovely haul. 48 renars. Gonna head on over to the GE. Slap these up for sale. There's a lovely 400k to start our day. Let's get rid of the shit that we don't need here for this quest. Because I, I did say it's a Slayer Day and it is a Slayer Day. But I do just want to get this stuff planted so that we can let it grow while we're going to do our trolls. We need a rake. I put it away. It's all good. Wait, is there actually a leprechaun there? I feel like I'm going to have to go to the one around here. Sandwiches? Is it a stale one? A baguette? That is the right thing, isn't it? Oh, it's not stale. Okay, so we want the rake and then we have to run fucking through the castle. Alright. Right, I'm fairly certain the trolley stuff all gets done here, so I think we're just going to do that now. Oh no, we do actually have to teleport. Well, we can do that whenever. The things are still going to be growing, so that's the only bit that I actually cared about getting done. I do want to make sure we have more than enough time to get our troll task done though, so let's, uh, let's go do it. Oh, what did I say I wanted yesterday when I was there? I was like, maybe it was just that I shouldn't have brought so much food. I honestly can't remember. Oh, we need a stamp. Two days should be fine. Climbing boots. Every time. Every fucking time. At least I didn't get too far in. Like, I don't want to just tell it. 
every time I'm like, I'm forgetting something. What is it? What is it? What is it? And then I teleport and I'm like, fucking climbing boots. Don't know how many of these I've actually got left. I think it's like 50, maybe 60. I'll find out when we slap one. Preparing myself for some flicking here. I'm just gonna go straight into the room with the more spawns. Let's turn those sound effects down. <laughs> 44 to go. Man, why is the aggro range so fucking small, man? I was literally stood right next to the one tile of it. I did that blind. There's a hit points level, 66 coming in. We are due another Slayer level before the end of this task in 27 kills, make that 26. We're also just one strength level away from our midway goal of 60. We want 75 strength before we're attempting normals, normal raids that is. But 60 is my starter goal. I want to get base 60s and then I know I can wield dragon stuff and I'll just work on my strength after that and do the defense through the bursting. Hoping we don't have to do much defense training through melee at all. But I can't figure out exactly how much defense XP we're going to be getting until I've sat there and done it for a bit. And we do just slice through these like butter. I feel like our accuracy is pretty high with this weapon. It does help having the black mask of course as well. And the fury and the fire camp and you know, all the good stuff. <laughs> Maybe it's the fact that you get two hit splats at once, it makes you feel like you're going faster. Even if you're not, it's like, oh, I just hit twice, not once. Even though you did basically just hit once. Ever since I got these sulfur blades, my mind has been trying to figure out what the, like, I feel like there's something tricking me inside my own head into thinking that they're better than they are. I don't know, they just feel so much better than they have any right to be. It doesn't look like we do a strength level off this task, which is unfortunate. I'm thinking I might go back to Chaildar after this. We will have a few Slayer points built up, 90-something. So we'll have a few cancels available if we want them. The other part of me is thinking I might just go and do contact for that 5k Slayer XP. I know it said it's a Slayer day, not a quest day, but you know, that it's a Slayer quest. It's not to do with the, the other plan of unlocking Defender of Varrock. Although it does feed into it in a way, because doing Wanted unlocks us the Slug Menace, which gets us some Runecrafting XP, which we will be using for the Defender of Varrock. So it's a two for one, but it's still a Slayer thing. <laughs> I love it when I justify myself to nobody as if you're not just all completely accepting whatever I decide to do anyway. Gonna report in a sec. I think we're about halfway through what we had to do today here. There is 42 Slayer coming in hot. We would need 53 more kills for our next level, so we're not gonna get it this task with just 16 left, but perhaps if we do wanted, that will get us another level. I may also go see what the Slayer task that I get given is first. Because if it's something that just takes my fancy, then I might do it. So I think the plan when we leave here is go to Zanaris, hit up Chaildar, see what she's got for us. And then from there we'll either do Wanted or the Slayer task. We need to go turn our Brimstone key in as well, actually. Don't want to forget about that. We'll probably do that before we go to whatever our next destination is. Did we not do troll romance? I swear we did troll romance. Why is this kid crying? Last one! And we are out of here. 90 points, a total of 114. We got 14,000 Slayer XP in total. We are 3,281 away from our next level, which means if we do go and do Wanted, we will get it. Don't know how long a quest will actually take. I basically never look up quests anymore, because like I've done them all, I just can't remember. Like, it can't be that bad. <laughs> right, Chaildar, what are you saying? What are you saying? Blue dragons. That's going to be a long task. That is going to be a long task. 88 of them. We're going to have to do that with Mage. Hmm. I think I am going to go do the wanted quest. Because I haven't figured out whether I want to keep that or not. I can't, I can't figure it out. So we're going to go do wanted first. Because I'd rather avoid magic tasks, if possible, given the black mask wouldn't work there. Falador, Varak, and Canifis. I don't know what we're going to need here. We definitely need some more Staminas. This is our last full potion, so 10 more of them. It's a necessary cost always on one hour limit locked. And I want that Brimstone key, because I'm going to go see what that has before I reset Ferox. Why did that not draw out? Boom. Let's go see Kona. 
I don't even know what like the most GP we could get from this is. The average value is 80k. If we beat that, we're good. Big money! One room plate body, that is incredible. Incredible. An entire rune plate body. A whole one of them. Noted as well, just in case I couldn't carry that many. What a fucking joke. You get more from a gauntlet run than you do from a brimstone key. Where am I? Nature runes. And my water runes. Alright, I've got shit. Let's get that now out of here, we don't need them. Off we go! Falador. Wait, didn't we need to do something in Falador for the other one as well? Oh, we needed the Lumbridge first, didn't we? Okay, so I'm gonna go to Lumbridge. We need like a trolley or something? This thing. Oh no, I forgot how much of a pen this might be. Is it really? Oh, big push. Alright, that's the first statue. Now we have the Falador one. Oh my gosh, I hate cutscenes, man. Why do they do this to me? I'm not gonna get wanted finished today, am I? Because I'm doing this shit. To be fair, this isn't the worst cutscene in the world. It is quite a funny one, but... It's PK Master, of course it is! Looking a little less fearsome than when they killed those undead chickens. Okay, are we done now? Can I carry on? Thank you. Keep pushing. How do we manage this then? Is that close enough? Yeah. Wicked. Is it all finished growing as well? We don't have the ring of Kairos, so I'm not doing that right now. I don't give a shit. Let's go see if we can actually get some more of Wanted done. Oh, I don't know why I decided to do that. I thought it was because we were in Falador. I was like, yeah, yeah, we'll be doing it in Falador. It's fine. And then, yeah, that was a bit dumb. We're barely going to get any of this done. Classic rune. Let's get back and forth to start it out. I can't remember what we've got to do after that, really. Back to shitty fee. Okay, so Tavoli Dungeon. We have to kill a Black Knight. I'm just going to get some light combat gear. A regular combat potion. Tiny bit of food. This isn't actually that many steps. We might be able to get it done. And the nice thing about uh, doing this quest and then the Slug Menace is that it will unlock us Proselyte rather than Initiate armor that we've been wearing. It's better prayer bonus. Better defensive bonuses as well, but prayer to the probably nicer part of it. So yeah, that'll make our Slayer training a bit, a bit better by effect. Especially if we're not flicking, but we're just leaving our prayer on. This is such an underused area of the game. Like, there could be something cool down here, right? Okay, Varrock. Yeah, we're not gonna get this done because this little step here takes a while. It just looks like a little step. Okay, there's a conversation here that can be interrupted, so I'm just gonna click once and hope it pops up. There we go. Alcarid. Maybe you can speed up this cutscene, that'd be great. Yeah, what are you waiting for? So slow. Okay, I am actually just gonna go do the birdhouse run, I think. And then we'll do whatever steps we can on this. I just want to make sure I get it in, seeing as though we missed one of them yesterday. Okay, I'll cure it. Oh, hopefully this cutscene's quicker. You deli ovened me? It's pretty funny. Got a blue cape, is that a wilderness thing? Cape of Champions. Oh, Champions Guild. Okay, so we got out of the cutscene. I'm just gonna run over to the bank. We'll finish this off at the start of tomorrow, of course. Uh, after our burbs and herbs, and then we'll be doing more of a questy day. I know we actually only did that one Slayer task today, but we did get ourselves a total of 4,000 XP, and we'll be getting another 5k when we finish this quest off tomorrow. I believe you only have to go to three different spots, so if this one's not the last one, then the one after that is, and then we go to the Renaissance Mine and kill him. So simple enough to finish off that tomorrow, and we'll be getting into a couple more quests that lead into that parallel plan of Defender of Varrock. More than likely the Slug Menace and the Temple of the Eye, perhaps. We still do need to finish Garden of Tranquility as well, so we got to go back and knock that one up. But all we have to do is basically go have a conversation with the Ring of Karras on. I just didn't have it when I was there. So yeah, been a decent day. Been a decent day. Another sort of slow and steady one. We got 17k in strength. Not quite a level there, but we're not too far off. And we did get a hit points level as well as a farming level. So, a little bit just spread around here. A little bit just spread around. The cash stack's looking nice as well at the moment, I should note. We had like almost a mil again. Yeah, 864k at the minute. And you know, we've still got six Renar seeds planted and six ready to plant, so... We're going to be up to like 1.5 mil by the time we've worked through those. 
not counting bird's nests or any other extraneous profit we might have. So we are starting to build our cash stack back up again. We've still got that 800k or whatever it was we put in miscellanea, despite the fact that our cash stack's building up. It's kind of split in a lot of different areas right now, so it's hard to visualise it, but we are making money, folks. We are actually legitimately making money by just doing these herb runs. I just keep splitting it up and spending it on stuff, so the stack doesn't seem to be rising as much as it actually is. Yep, that's going to be all for me on this one. Hope you all are continuing to enjoy everything. I'm having a blast as always. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And of course, leave a comment as well for the algorithm and the goodness and for the general conversation of one person to another. All of the things. Look after yourselves. Be lovely to one another. I'll see you on the next one.